this is my car, my daily. It's a 2009 Pontiac G8 GT. Uh, I've only had this car for about five or six months, um, so I don't know everything about it. I'm still going through the maintenance and all that, um, but so far I really like it. I got this after my last car was in a bit of a wreck. Um, this is completely different from anything I've had before. Uh, this is a V8 rear wheel drive automatic, which I'm kind of okay with. Um, my last car was a BMW E30. Um, that car was a four cylinder manual, super light, super fun to throw around. Uh, this car, big, big heavy car, uh, and you can feel it. It is very comfortable to daily, um, which is part of why I got it. Um, the other part is I'm a huge GM fan. Um, it's kind of, you know, something that runs in the family. My dad was a GM guy, uh, and so I felt like this was kind of the next step for me. Um, I've always liked the LS engines. Uh, this has an LS, so right there was a huge plus. Um, it is an automatic, like I said. It's kind of a, a downfall of this car, um, but I couldn't afford the, the GXP, um, which is the only way you could get this car with the manual. Uh, it is a six-speed auto. Um, it does have manual mode, which is nice. Um, it does hold your shifts, which is great. You know, it doesn't automatically upshift. You can redline. Um, unfortunately, there's no redline on the tack, so you aren't actually sure when you're going to be there. I've got a few mods planned for it. One thing I want to do, um, first thing I do with all of my cars is suspension work. Um, I want to take this big boat and kind of make it tossable and light, you know, feel light like the E30 was. Uh, that's kind of a huge thing for me. It has the liquid red exterior. Um, wasn't sure that I was going to like a red car to be honest, uh, but it's kind of growing on me. I still think I would like the, uh, the white or black a little bit more, um, but this is, you know, I'm getting used to it and it looks really nice when it's clean. Um, with that, it also has the two-tone interior, so the red and black seats um, and red and black gauge cluster. You know, the seats I like, they're okay, um, but honestly, it's the gauge cluster I love the most. Um, I'm looking at that the whole time I'm in here, so the fact that it's not just boring black and white, honestly, huge improvement for me. Um, I really like it. So that is my car. Uh, remember to like, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Um, while we're out here, I'll show you my garage, or lack thereof. Um, so I've got a shared garage. See, my car just barely fits um, with my toolbox, cart, um, tires I need to sell and a variety of other stuff. Um, so there's my neighbor's stall and my other neighbor's stall. As you can see, there is not much room to work in here. Um, so it's gonna be a challenge doing some of the stuff that I plan on doing. Um, what I can't do, I will be taking back to um, the shop that I used to work at. Um, I am a mechanic, or was, so I have a really good understanding of how things work and how to do certain things. Um, so we'll see. I don't have a lift anymore, which, you know, that made everything super easy. So yeah, like, share, subscribe. Um, I'm also on Instagram, uh, Aaron Dailies. So look for me there. Um, share some pictures of. Uh, your cars. Uh, I'd love to see kind of what you guys are driving.
See you next time.